News now from outer space where scientists are attempting some high stakes maneuvers with the history making spacecraft that just this week became the first ever to land on a comet. With batteries on the lander now running dangerously low and the mission itself in peril, there's something of a Hail Mary in progress and ABC's Aditi Roy is on the story. Aditi, good morning. Good morning, Dan, and this morning the fillet lander is getting some well-deserved rest after becoming the first spacecraft to land on a comet and study it. But to get that prize data, it had to take quite a roller coaster ride through space. Overnight, high drama 300 million miles into outer space. This time not starring Matthew McConaughey or Anne Hathaway. The fillet lander has had a seriously nail-biting week that began with a rough landing on a comet, traveling at more than 80,000 miles per hour. If you listen closely, we even get to hear the unexplained singing noise from the comet. And ended nearly losing battery power, unable to charge its solar panels due to the shadow from another rock on the comet. To rescue the first of its kind spacecraft Friday, scientists from the European Space Agency and NASA shut down most of the lander's systems, leaving technicians unable to communicate with the $1.8 billion probe. It started to drill, this we got, but then we lost contact again. Filet resumes sending back scores of data and photos like these showing off the comet's magnetic field and plasma environment. The lander also sending back tweets. Rosetta, I'm feeling a bit tired. Did you get all my data? I might take a nap. Hashtag comet landing. We're orbiting a comet for the first time ever. There's absolutely no question this is a success. But the lander only had limited battery power since its solar panels were in the shadow of a cliff. So researchers decided on a bold plan to raise the lander and rotate it to catch more light onto its solar panels. All this before Filet getting some well-deserved rest after tweeting, hashtag life on a comet has just begun. I'll tell you more about my new home comet 67p. It may be sweet dreams for the lander now, but there is still a chance it could wake up and resume contact with the Rosetta mission. And for that to happen, there would have to be enough sunlight falling on those solar panels. Officials say by rotating that lander, they boosted the chances of that happening, but we'll have to stay tuned to see what happens next. Quite a cliffhanger in the skies there, Paula. Yes, Filet desperately seeking the sun like most of us this cold morning. Thank you, Aditi. Yes.